Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a quick video to let you know that FLA OOBE version 1.23 is now available. And FLA OOBE, just a quick recap in case you're unaware, is a Windows 11 system requirements bypass app to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. And I'll leave the previous version upgrade of the app. I'll leave that video linked if you'd like some more information. Now, I'll also leave the download link for this latest release in the description if you would be interested. And just a quick overview as to what's new. Now, the highlight would be the developer says is that he's added support for Windows 11 25H2, which is this year's annual feature update. Apparently, now the app now runs smoothly on the new release. And it's also mentioned that there's a new extension script to upgrade to Windows 11 25H2 via the enablement package with the developer saying with info compatibility check and download options. It's also said that this is an optional helper for users who prefer a simple way to activate 25H2 as many systems are already ready for the update without requiring a full ISO upgrade. It's said that the script can be found under Setup, Extensions, Windows 11 25H2 Enablement Package or, or by searching for it. Then another improvement is the setup extensions have been improved where the script output can now be viewed in the internal log window. And there's also user interface refinements where there's a new Fly OOB icon added to the main UI top left, which clicking opens app info and settings. And then the last improvement as to what's new, the extension management has been moved into the more menu, which is at the top right for easier access. So that's what's new in Fly OOBE version 1.23, with the highlight being that it's now 25H2 ready, and 25H2 is going to be rolling out to the general public, I would say, over the next couple of days. So look out for that if you are running Windows 11. So that's Fly OOBE 1.23, which is becoming a very popular Windows 11 bypass installation app. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.